Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video about a project that I've started working on. This is a, uh, well, what you see on your left is a TV tuner. It came out of a uh, TV that was about 10 years old, probably. What I have here is a Beagle Bone Black connected to this via I squared C. The, the purpose of this is to be able to control the intermittent frequent intermediate frequency that is produced from this right here from the tuner and the way that's done is through a digital uh, TV synthesizer chip that's on here I would show you it's it's on it's on this side over here but it's kind of hard to see right now so anyways uh, so yeah it's pretty simple it's just uh, pins 19 and 20 on the P9 header uh, the LED I'm just using as a uh, I'm using one of the leads to c connect to the ground uh, pin 1 of the P9 header and the yellow uh, alligator clip is going over here and just connecting to the ground on of the TV tuner um, yeah, it, it's powered by I think 5 volts yeah well the, the the chip I'm trying to talk to at least is powered by 5 volts and then there's uh, my oscilloscope probe that I'm looking at the SDA line and here's what I have I've captured some of the data and so the command that I've sent to this using the Beagle Bone Black is uh, is you have to use the I2C detect command well that's just one of the commands you can use it's already built in to the uh, to the Linux distribution on the Beagle Bone Black so it's it's I2C let me use my mouse it's I2C detect TAC R TAC Y and the this one right here that'll tell you this can change you can either use zero which will which will probe the uh, first I squared C bus and if you use a one you'll from the second I squared C bus. So you can see whenever I've used the this command I get the uh, uh, four sets of U that that means that there's a device already occupying that on the Beagle Bone Black so you'll pretty much see that anytime you run this command. What's important to, to note is the 6-1 right here because this is the address it is hexadecimal by the way this is the address of the chip that I'm trying to talk to it took some trial and error basically to figure out which um, which I2C bus is I guess best to use, I don't know it didn't work for me right away. It, it just all of, it seemed to just work all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't know what was going on, but uh, it's working now, so that's good. Um, so yeah, back to the data that I've captured. Um, if you zoom in. Zoom in. Here's where I need some help. 
So I'm assuming this is this is the uh, different combinations that the Beagle Ball and Black sent out because you can see you can see you have each set of data separated by this same period of time so that makes me think that uh, like when it runs this I2C detect it's, it's uh, sending out uh, some data and it's, it's expecting to hear back from it so for example this this one right here could be the trying to see if there's anything on the address 0x00 zero, zero zero zero. and then 0x01 zero zero and all the way through its, uh, its range that it has so there's that Okay, here's another uh, set of data that I've captured, uh, and what is being sent to it isn't the I2C detect command anymore. Instead, it's um, I wrote a little script, with, and I'll show I'll show you that. So here's my script. Uh, sorry for the data quality. This is I2C set, and what this does is basically writes data to um, your your chip or whatever you're talking to. This, this is the address of the chip, and this is the data I'm sending it. So I'll send it. Well, these are com these three are commented out, but you can see um, the first one. All I'm doing is sending one one byte of data, zero uh, x seventy, and then I'm reading out. This is I two C dump. I'm reading out everything from the chip after that. So you can see this is what's returned. Thirty four and all addresses, memory addresses. So that's what I get on a computer. I'll show you what I get on the oscilloscope. And I'm trying to figure out how these two are related. Okay. The first thing you see is this right here. Uh, I believe that would be the data that I'm sending to it. And then the big chunk of uh, data that comes back, you see all this right here? That I think that would be uh, all those 34s. So if I know that I'm getting a 34 at the computer on the terminal, how does that correspond to what I'm seeing right here? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Does how is this pattern of low and highs? How does that translate to a, a hexadecimal thirty-four? I mean, it can. It could be that uh, this is a zero and low is a one, or that this is a one and the low is a zero. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But anyways. Um, that's, that's where I'm at so far with the TV tuner. I'll post any updates as I find out more. Thanks.